<laughs> it looked like a scene from a disaster movie. More than 25 people were killed when a Trans-Asia Airlines plane crashed in the Taiwanese capital of Taipei. The plane with 58 people on board flipped into a river soon after takeoff. Rescue efforts began almost immediately after the crash, which as many as 16 people appeared to survive. Officials from Trans-Asia Airlines apologized for the disaster, but were unable to provide answers as to its cause. Both our planes and flight safety system are following strict regulations, so we also want to know what caused the new plane model to crash, but I cannot make any speculation at that moment. Last year was not the best for Asian aviation companies, with three major incidents. In March 2014, a Malaysia Airlines plane disappeared while flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing with 239 people on board. In June, a plane from the same company was shot down in eastern Ukraine, allegedly by pro-Russian rebels, killing 298 people. And last December, an AirAsia flight crashed into the sea while flying from Indonesia to Singapore, leaving 162 people dead. With the proliferation of social media today, public panic caused by these incidents is bigger than ever. But the heads of aviation companies still insist that their planes are safe, at least compared to other sources of transportation.